What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. We're going to go over Solana. I just adjusted uh, the wave count a little bit. We're seeing at $99. We're up 7% on the day. We're seeing my cap at 43 billion. 24 volume, 3.93 billion. So here's the bear market low of $10. Wow. So was that $10? Amazing. <laughs> So I think we went through a one, two, one, two setup. And when you see a one, two, one, two, it leads to an overextended wave three. So the wave three is overextending because if you take a trend based of extension from the bottom of this wave one to the top, to the bottom of the wave two, it, it's pushed all the way up to the past the 425% extension. So that's basically as far as you can go. Usually you're not supposed to pass the 425, but it could be that it's just a really overextended wave three. And we had that five wave move, which is here in green. And now you're pulling back in the wave four. We saw a nice bounce off the 38.2, and now you're going to push up in a wave five. So it can give you a target for that if you take a trend base of extension from the bottom of that wave two up to the top of the wave three to the bottom of the wave four. You would target the 618. I like to target the 618, the 61.8 to the 78.6 for that wave five. And then you would see a larger pullback. That could take you all the way up to 156 to 174 uh, before seeing a larger pullback in a wave two. That's what I'm looking at for slow, for soul. If we come down, we create a lower low. Um, we can still drop to the 50%. We'll max retracement for a wave four is at 50%. That's all the way down to $69. So it wouldn't be a problem if it creates a lower low first. But I think it's likely that this 1212 setup usually it leads to an overextended wave three and i think that's what we're seeing here i could be wrong anybody can be wrong this is crypto anything can happen um, so just take the analysis with a grain of salt if we create that higher high we push up towards that next major resistance of about 142 dollars uh, before potentially seeing a rejection and you can see that's pretty close 142 is actually the 50 percent any break above the three can complete the five so anywhere from 142 could push a little bit higher up to that 150, 160 range, which is our target zone, uh, before potentially seeing a rejection and a larger pullback, which is needed for Solana uh, because we are super overextended from uh, the weekly EMAs. I think the daily, let's see the daily, maybe the daily starting to catch back up. Yeah, daily's already caught back up, but we are still overextended from the weekly. So it would be healthy to come back down to those weekly EMAs because we've just gone parabolic and we're super overbought on the weekly chart as well. Um, but I think there's a decent chance that we hold this pullback zone and then push up towards 156, uh, potentially all the way up to about 174 in that wave five. All right, gang. So we're currently in trades for XRP Gala. Uh, what's the other coin that we're in right now? XRP, Gallic Games, and VChain. If you want completely free access to my signals, sign up to Bitinix. No KYC, no VPN all around the world. You can also, um, until the end of the month, get a 100 USDT. If you get up to a million in trading volume, no KYC, no VPN for my US Canadian traders as well. Grab those bonuses. Email me after you make your first deposit. I'll give you completely free access to my daily crypto analysis, my exact crypto trade setups, crypto news, member profits, Forex signals, Forex analysis. We're currently in a couple Forex trades as well as we're in three crypto trades. For completely for free with a sign up to deposit to Bitinix. Otherwise, it's 10 bucks a month. Sign up through the Patreon link. All links down below. Go check them out. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.